It's Davina and we are in my dining room, new room in my house. And last time I did a refinishing a outdoor patio table. This time I'm going to be working on an indoor dining room table. Now the problem I'm having with my dining room table, which we only purchased like a couple years ago, is that the finish on it was so thin that any time moisture of any kind has gotten onto it, it's gotten underneath the finish and has started swelling the grain of the wood. So I need to do something to fix that because it's making the finish flake. Now, this was not a very expensive table, but I would like to keep it for a number of years. So I could sand this, strip this, restain it and seal it, but that's a lot of work. So I'm gonna do something a little bit simpler and see how good it goes. We're going to be using some of the same tools that we did before. I'm gonna have a nylon stocking, I'm gonna have disposable gloves, and this time, instead of using uh, an oil, I'm gonna be using Restore a Finish. Now, this is not a stripper, but it does soften the uh, finish that's on a varnished piece of furniture and kind of spreads it out a little bit, blending it out so that you won't have very obvious chips and flakes in it. It also helps with scratches and the like, but it doesn't fix everything. If you've got deep gouges and stuff like that, you would actually have to go through a refinishing process, fill in those gaps with a wood filler, sand it, and then uh, stain and refinish. We're not gonna do that. We're just going to uh, use this finish restorer. And in the instructions, you're not supposed to splatter this all over the top of the table because it will cause spotting. You're supposed to put it on whatever you're using to uh, refinish. Now, you can use something like quadruple, centuple, ot, uh, steel wool, but I'm gonna use a nylon stocking because it's not going to damage the table too terribly much. Now, there's a little bit of a texture that I can feel of the swollen wood grain, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just going to try to take care of some of the finish flaking. So, let's get started. Now, most of these will ask to be in a well-ventilated area, so I have opened up all of the windows in my dining room. This is a lot less stinky, though, than if we were to do a complete strip stain and refinish. Because I've got something simple like this, I can just do it inside my house. So let's get some of this on our little nylon stocking and just go with the grain of the table. That's it. That's all you do. You just rub it on rub it around, maybe go back over some of the worst places, and you just let it be. Now, I can still see some of the lighter marks on here, and I might go back and, and do it again, but they definitely have faded. If you've got big white marks or, or dark water stains and things like that, you might want to use a different, um, a different process, but if it's just light like this, you can go with it. Now, how did this damage happen in the first place? I use tablecloths. Some people don't, but I do. I also use trivets. I use trivets and tablecloths or, or coasters and uh, tablecloths. So trivets for hot plates, coasters for glasses and a tablecloth. And I still ended up with marks on my table. And that's mostly having to do with the quality of the finish. Uh, if I had had this done at a really nice furniture place, uh, refinishing place, it would have had a much thicker seal on it and this wouldn't have happened if I had an antique that I had taken care of or had been taken care of for a very long time. Uh, this wouldn't have happened, but this is probably cheap pine with a cheap thin varnish and you get what you pay for and sometimes cheap stuff just wears out faster. So at some point, I probably am going to have to sand the whole top of the table, 
strip it as much as I can, or is it strip and then sand? It. Strip first, then sand it, then restain it, then seal it again. Because whatever finish was originally put on here was thin and cheap on a pine base, and pine is one of the woods that really absorbs moisture like a sponge. So uh, yeah, you get what you pay for and you try to take care of it as best as you can. Thank you for watching this video on maintaining furniture. Uh, I hope that you've found it interesting and enjoyable and something that you want to see more of. If you would like to see more of household tips and things like that, please leave a message in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.